how is it possible that a film that is two hours and 22 minutes can get me to stop, to watch, to listen, and to forget time, to engross me so much, even if I've watched this film maybe six or seven times before, but a business video that someone's made, well, I'm bored in seconds. My name's Neil Ben, and I'm an award-winning writer-director, and I like to work with business owners to help them use skills and techniques from the world of film and television into making better videos. And today, yes, I'm comparing The Shawshank Redemption and what it does to how you can make your business films better. And I use the word films because film suggests a little bit more crafting than business video. Okay? Not saying you need to shoot it with film, but you need to have the mindset of a filmmaker when you make it. So, Shawshank Redemption, 1994, two hours, 22 minutes, the story of Andy, I can't say his surname, who was convicted of murdering his wife and his wife's lover in cold blood, sentenced to two life sentences in prison. And the film follows his journey through the abuse, the horrors, the terribleness, is that a word, of being incarcerated and um, his never-ending belief that he was innocent and he would get out. And the story thread, and we'll talk about thread in a minute because that relates really well to your business films, the thread was beautifully narrated by Morgan Friedman, one of his fellow inmates. Now, this film has won the award for best film of all time, year after year after year. And it has a really strong purpose. Now, it wasn't shoved in your face, but at the end of the film, I am sure if you've watched it consciously, you would be thinking things like, or around the subject of how the, and I'm reading this because it's it was written down and I want to get it right how the institu institutionalization of prisons contradicts the actual purpose of prisons. So that was a theme that was written underneath the thread of the film. And at the end of the film, people, I certainly thought, well, if prisons like that, is it actually serving its purpose? So there was a real deep meaning in this film that kind of touches you at a deeper level and draws you in. You throw in that, the emotion of the fury, the anger, the frustration you feel for Andy, of the injustice of it all, you're even more drawn in. And emotion is a really important thing to have in your business films. If you're just giving facts, if you're giving information. So let's say you're doing a film about the, does the institutionalization of prisons actually work? And you said, Do, does the institutionalizations of prisons actually work? Well, I'm going to give you my six facts why it doesn't. There is no connection with the audience. People are not, they might understand what you're saying. They might hear what you're saying, but they won't remember it. Because do you know what? It's just information. Now, I'm looking over at my notes. There was a very strong theme throughout the film as well. And that theme was of hope. And he never gave up hope that he would get out. And again, that connects with emotion. That heightens the emotion. You think, how can he still have that hope in all this terribleness that is going on in the prison? How could he not give up? So you're on his side. And there, like I said, there was this wonderful story thread narrated by Morgan Friedman all the way through. So... Three things I want you to, in fact, there's four, but four isn't part of the three. I'll explain in a minute. Three things I want you to think about when you make your business film. One, what is your purpose? What is the underlying purpose of it all? What do you want people to think about when you finished your film? For me, the purpose of this, I want you to think about the th three points I'm saying. I want you to think, am I doing my business videos, my business films the right way, or can I do them a better way? 
Okay, so that's the purpose for me of this film, and you need to think about the purpose of your film. The next thing is the theme. What is your theme about? In the film, it was hope. My theme is, is giving you a different idea, a new opportunity. It's about captivating. It's about drawing in. And the thread, well, I had my opening. I set up this video. This film was going to be about comparing what happens in films with business videos. My thread ran through all the different ideas. Yeah. And there will be a closing at the end. Now, I said three, but four, but four's not three. The fourth one. Morgan Friedman. I'd like you to channel your inner Morgan Friedman, not Friedman, Freeman, when you are making your films. Because he has such a natural, easy, relaxed, yet authoritative presence. He doesn't need to push. He doesn't need to get angry. He doesn't need to shout. He doesn't need to push himself on you with his ideas. He just is, he knows, and, and, and he's extremely engaging. When he talks, people lean forward. And that's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to channel your inner Morgan Friedman next time. Freeman, sorry. I don't know why I call him Friedman. That is dull. Inner Morgan Freeman next time you make a video. Because if you talk slower, if you talk calmer, people will sit forward and listen. So hopefully those, those little ideas of comparing a fantastic film with how you can use those skills, those techniques in making your business videos, your business films, will help make a difference to your next film that you make. So good luck, and if you need any help along the way, well, you know where I am.